Okay, folks, welcome back. This is Arlene, and we're going to finish up uh, the burning on this. And I'm going to explain to you what I've done. I've taken care of the feathers in the back and in the front. Okay. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to going to go back and we're going to um, take care of the feathering on the side. And I'm going to show you how I did the sides. First of all, these little feathers here, um, if you can see them. They aren't really a feather, cut out feather, but you can make them the illusion that they're coming out ahead, and I'll show you what I mean. What you do is you take your pen, if I can get this in the camera right here, and you push down and bring up, okay? Push down, bring up. Push down, bring up. Alright? So the on the top, it's going to be deeper than down here. And then you're going to go in a different direction over here. Just go in a different direction. There you go. Alright. And then when you go to your next feather to make it look like it goes underneath, see the line there that we drew? You press deeper where the line is and then you bring your pen back up. And you go in a little bit of a different direction. See the, see the effect you're having? When you do that, okay. So we're just going to go back over this just a tad here. We're going to go all the way down. And the same thing over here. You're going to go in a different direction, wherever that line is. Alright. Just a slight. So see how it's starting to look like it's a feather on top of a feather. That's how you do it. Now the other thing you're going to do, and we have one up here yet, so why don't we do that as well. A little tougher when you get underneath the hat here, but it's the same concept wherever that line is. And the closer you can get those lines, the better. All right. Now here, um, here in the back, and I did a little bit of it. I'll have to do it offline because it's too too hard for me to do it the way the, the way this thing's in my face. Um, I did a little crisscrosses in the front. So all this consists of is going, uh, making a little crisscrosses. Okay, just like so. And working your way down. See how that goes? And so that's the front of the turkey. And that's really it. I did most of it because I wanted to make sure I was ready to paint after I was done with this. Alright, and the same thing happens with the tail. You do the same thing. You go, you crisp, but uh, crisscross. It's just slightly crisscross and then go in the direction. You know, as you're going down, you go in the direction or the flow that it's supposed to go. When you get to the top here, you when I go from this way up and then I turned it over and went this way down. Just crisscross back and forth. The last thing we have to do are these little feathers right here. They're no different than what we did up here. Uh, you put a little center quill in or barb in there and we're going to do that for a second here one and one here it can be two small lines or it can be one doesn't really matter and again you're going to I'm going to do it in the bottom one because it's easier for me to reach um, you're just going to take it and you're going to bring your deeper from the feather underneath or the feather on top you know, so you're going to go deeper where it's coming out from underneath. All right. And that's it. And that's how you do the whole thing. And when it's done, it should look similar to that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And then, folks, when I come back, <laughs> I'm hopefully going to have a finished product. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this flat... Um, Oh, not this one. This is the triple glaze. The flat one. Here it is. Uh, this one right here. I'm going to take it outside real quick. Put it on a stick. And I'm going to go ahead and um, use this crystal clear um, flat Krylon to seal it up. And then we're going to paint it. Now, because of uh, the Pilgrim, I had a brown hat Okay, that I did. Um, on this one, uh, I'm think I'm going to make it a gray with a black um, buckle, gold buckle with a black band going around the hat, 
and then gray and then I'm going to do a wash a brown wash for the uh, feathering similar to what I did with this one and then I'm going to put the white on the tail all right and yellow feet so when I come back and I'm kind of excited to get it done <laughs> it's been a bit of a long project I haven't done one like this in a long time um, you know the pilgrim was a long project if you're interested in birds I have plenty of birds on line for you to do I have a few relief birds I have the cardinal um, the wren and I don't know if it's a goldfinch no I think the no I just have the wren and the um, the cardinal if you want to do a, a bird in the round with a knife only um, then you can go to the chickadee uh, that I have done. You'll see all the feathering just like I did here. And, um, you know, you'll see all of it, uh, you know, all of it from beginning to end. I released all my videos for you folks to watch. So uh, have fun, um, you know, and just to make mention, there are a couple of changes if you haven't already seen it or heard about it. Um, the individual patterns of all the projects are no longer available um, for the dollar and a half. Um, it was too time consuming and too crazy uh, for me to try to send all this stuff out. Um, if you are interested in a pattern, it comes with a purchase of a DVD for 10 bucks. So, uh, but you're free to watch, um, you know, uh, the videos as often as you like. A lot of the projects, like the beginner projects, a lot of them only require a couple of cuts, and you can do that with a coping saw. Um, and, uh, you know, that's a decision I made this past week. Um, you know, it's just simpler not to, it's too confusing for people. If some people it wouldn't open up for them and stuff, so I decided to scrap that and just put it with the DVD since I have the DVD at a cheaper rate than I had before. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and finish this little guy up and we'll be back with a finished product to show you and I'll share some of the painting when we come back. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care.